Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Christian Durkin. I'm the product manager with um, Waterloo Hydrogeologic, and uh, I'd like to present to you the, the newer features of Aquifer Test Pro. So an overview of Aquifer Test Pro. Um, as you know, it's uh, analytical software to uh, perform graphical analyses of pumping tests, slug tests, and packer tests, or Lujan tests. And it includes a comprehensive selection of uh, analytical solutions. Um, for a variety of aquifer types. Um, it also has uh, derivative analysis to enhance um, your analyses and uh, perform some diagnostics. And then there's also uh, the ability to superimpose uh, various solutions on top of one another and then map those and report the results. The interface, as you're probably aware, uh, hasn't, hasn't changed too much in the new version, so you still have the, the menu bar, a toolbar with all your major functions, um, and then your workflows uh, proceed from the navigation panel and the navigation tabs that work from left to right and top to bottom. Uh, and then all your entry, data entry and workspace is, is in the main window. Pumping test solutions available, uh, still the same set. So we have all the main solutions from confined aquifers to unconfined aquifers and leaky aquifers, fractured, uh, well bore storage, horizontal wells, and multi aquifer wells. And then, as always, there's the method selection advisor on the internet that helps you choose the right solution. Uh, slug tests, our solution set is, is also fairly similar from, from last uh, version from Horslev, uh, Cooper, Bredehoff, Papadopoulos, uh, Bauer Rice, Butler, Dagon, and, uh, and the Packer tests as well. Uh, so let's dive right into the new features, which include a, the ability to add a new regional water surface elevation, streamlines, and uh, some automated user fields. So we've got the program open, and uh, we've got a pumping test here for a confined aquifer analysis, and we note that we'll have one pumping well active and a number of observation wells and an injection well that we're not currently using. Um, we have a solution already uh, set up, and if we can change the view a little bit. Then we'll note that there's a, a, a data series that we've selected. So we've chosen to use the TICE analysis at OW1 as our basis for the contours at a time of 120 minutes. And that results in a, in a drawdown. All these features were available in the previous version of Pro, but what's new is that you now have the ability to add a, a regional groundwater surface. So it'll default to uh, asking you for a direction, a gradient, and then a known location with an elevation. But if you've entered in the data in your observation wells and you have at least three, then you can select uh, three wells. Uh, at the moment, the, the functionality is limited to just selecting three wells and, and deriving a planar um, water surface elevation. So if you select uh, OWs 1, 2, and 3, then um, you have a gradient enabled here that's calculated for you. If you select 4 or more, it'll ask you to deselect some until you only have 3. So then you can um, choose which one is best uh, or more, most representative of what you think the regional surface water elevation is, or regional surface elevation is. Um, so that will then populate your gradient. And then it will superimpose that water surface elevation when you click the checkbox. Um, you also have the ability to add in streamlines. And so if we have uh, seed points upstream of the, um, of the wells, so at the upstream end of the water surface elevation, um, you can add in seed points at a known distance apart. And so that, that will produce streamlines. Uh, for for your wells, and then you'll notice you'll be able to delineate a, a pseudo capture zone, and if you increase the number of seed points or decrease the spacing, then you'll have a improved approximation of of where the capture zone would be. If we go back to the pumping test area, and you turn on the injection well, so we'll create a pumping well at IW one and then add in a negative pumping rate for injection. And if we go back to the site plan, you'll notice that the upstream seed points are, are 
um, still being generated, but there's a large area where there are no streamlines. So you can drop in seed points for the injection well, and again, change the number here. And you'll be able to um, delineate an area of influence of those injection wells. Another feature is that you have the ability to add in an optional field. So if you select the pumping test and then add in a visible new field, and we'll call it uh, file, then it'll show up here. And if you add in the value file path or file name um, in, in the less than and greater than brackets and go to the reports, then you'll notice that if we go to one of our analyses, that the file name is there, and then we also have it auto-populating the file name. And this helps with uh, auditing of, of um, your reports and file tracking if you need to come back to it at a later time. Uh, you'll notice that if we do a save as, and we call it version 2, and then force a refresh, then, then that value gets updated. We can also do file path to show the full file path. So th those are the three main new features in, in version 7. Thank you very much, everyone, and uh, have a great day.